Hello, welcome to Invest Your Paths and Drafting. My name is Umo. If you're happening upon this channel for the first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please ensure that you hit that subscribe button right now. However, if you're already subscribed to the channel, welcome back. It's so nice to have you back. So today's tutorial is going to be a the part two of our tutorial series on how I sewed this green basque waistline um, dress with this fish fin design by the side for a client so to understand what i have done here please follow the link in the description box to watch the part one of this series so she wanted something really similar and i made something really really similar for her so this is what it turned out to be like so my dress form is a size 8 and the client is a size 14 so this dress form does not even do justice to how beautiful this dress actually turned out and she absolutely loved 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 the dress so here is the second part of this series so after cutting this out i'm just going ahead to work on that thin the thin design by the side of the dress now bear in mind that this is actually a straight dress with a slit at the back do you understand that then it has this um, design of like the fish fin so i'm going to show you how i did the other side i done one side so i'm going to show you how i did the other side so this is color stay that you can see in between do you understand so this longer side that you can see is about 15 inches while the shorter side i still eventually cut it is about five inches so can you see that so it's just a rectangle or not a rectangle per se i cut out a rectangle that was 15 inches by i think the full length was i think about 30 inches or so Jensen. so 15 by 30 inches and then i now went ahead to cut out this diagonal line that you can see me cutting do you understand so the longer side is about 15 inches the end which is the shorter side is about five inches and then i ironed color stay to both the both sides do you understand that i ironed color stay to it and then did the placement of this um stoned area do you understand that so this is actually cut and placed on it the design is actually cut and placed on it so this is essentially what it is and then you now go ahead and pleat do you understand that so you just go ahead and pleat so in pleating ensure that you follow the exact pattern of the other side so i'm going to flip this the right way so that i don't make any mistake so i'll flip it the right way so that i actually don't make any mistake so I flipped it the right way so that the length for both um, designs would be the same thing and then the pleats would also follow the same direction. So I'm just pleating and pinning, pleating and pinning, pleating and pinning. That's basically what I did here. So after doing all that, ensure that the length that you have after the pleats, after pleating is the same for both um sides do you understand that so i'm just going ahead to remeasure it i had to recut it because this side i wanted to reduce it to five inches do you understand it was eight inches i used initially so i had to take it out and then recut everything i did that for both sides however i finished doing that and here i had joined it so to join this now you're joining it in between the front and the back can you see that in between the front and the back of the main fashion fabric do you understand the lining fabric would actually be joined separately so this was the hardest part like this was so difficult to do because of the stones and all of that and also that back shouldn't be left like that this the flip side of this um, fin design should actually have this design which i eventually did so it should actually have the stones and designs that the other side has so anyways go ahead and join it you can see that because of the stones and then the two layers of color stay which is really hard it was so difficult to sew but anyways this is what the final result actually looked like so now this is the corset area this is the lining as you can see and then this is the main um, fashion fabric now i'm going to go ahead and sew up the boning channels for the boning channels i actually used um taffeta to create the boning channels you understand you can cut the taffeta and bias and then use it to create the boning channels i've taught all of this in the advanced online corset masterclass so you can actually follow the seller link in the description box to actually purchase the full course so i'm just trimming off the um, excess of the boning channels that i had joined 
so see how nice it already looks i tried to follow the shape now i'm going ahead to insert the rigeline boning i used rigeline boning as well as um, plastic boning i used both bonings for this corset because she's plus size she's, she's yeah plus size and i really wanted to snatch that waistline so for the lining i also used um, rigeline boning and plastic boning for the lining as well so that that waistline would be really 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 snatched so this is what the final result looks like so this is the skirt area actually i'd gone ahead to after inserting that um fish fin design by the side i went ahead to turn it with the lining and then this is what the corset looked like after i inserted the boning i'm going to go ahead and attach the skirt part to this so this is the lining actually you can see the lining fabric i'm also going ahead to insert the boning into the lining fabric so you can see my center back also i also um inserted four layers of rigeline boning side by side just to make it really neat now this design also has a taping at the basque waistline so you can see that that is what i have created so here i've attached the skirt part to the corset part so this is what it actually looks like you can see how really nice it is and you can see that that basque waistline has actually come out so now i'm going ahead to work on the cup area so remember that i said that i worked with the regular um bra cup not the double padded bra cup i worked with the regular bra cup so i also um used wording for the cup area so this is what it looks like the cup area looks like and then i'm going to go ahead and sew up the fabric for the cup and then attach this cup to it so after attaching it i'll go ahead trim it off and then attach this to the dress itself do you understand that so i'm just pinning the cups in place and this is what it looks like can you see that and then i'm going to go ahead and attach this to the cup area so having attached it this is what it actually looks like you can see how nice and clean it is and then i went ahead to also attach the cup area of the lining fabric you can see what this also looks like so i was just trying to finish up the boning process here so i'm finishing up the boning process here you can see i'm also boning the lining fabric so that that waistline would really really be snatched because she said she doesn't want to have to wear waist trainer so i'm just boning it and ensuring that it is really really sturdy so after doing that i'll just go ahead and finish up the dress so I'm going ahead to just finish this up, you know, I'll just stitch this together and then finish it up. So this is my yoke area. You can see that I said I was going to cut the front and back together. So you can see I cellotaped it there and I'm going to cut that together. So after cutting that together, I would go ahead and attach that to the dress. However, before then, I wanted to just show you how to, how I cut out the um design from the net of the judge remember that judge also comes with nets this um, net that is beaded so i cut that out with my smoldering iron and i'm using my b6000 to go into the fabric now you can also use your candle and glue gun which you know might be a bit more messy but i think it lasts more because after doing this i there are still some places i had to use the glue gun for so just go ahead and do that this is really important because you can see the design on mercy johnson's own is quite high do you understand judge fabric doesn't come with the design that high or like to the best of my knowledge do you understand that so you have to cut out from the net that comes with the judge and then place this on the dress and make it look as real as possible so this is the yoke area i'm gonna have to cut out the mesh for the yoke area and join that together this is my front and back you can also see that i've joined the sleeve and then you can see that i cut out the seam allowance to be really really tiny what i have as my seam allowance now is about one over eight inches so i'm just going to go ahead and attach this to the dress now in the advanced online corset masterclass I'll, i actually taught how to attach yoke to your corset so if you want to purchase the full course please follow the seller link in the description box however please bear in mind that this the making of this dress is not part of that class however if you want to find out more about corsets 
then you should actually um, be a part of that class so this is what the final result looks like this picture does not even do justice at all however this is what the final result looks like and i love that she absolutely loved 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 her dress i also attached the um, design of the judge to the from the elbow area to the wrist area of the sleeve so as i mentioned earlier i have a class on corsets very detailed class on corsets where i taught all of these um, types of corsets that you can actually see on this course flyer so please follow the seller link in the description box to purchase the full course also i have a class on waist snatching a very detailed class on waist snatching that starts on the 20th of november so please follow the seller link in the description box to actually be a part of that class and i trust that you found this video really helpful so ensure that you please give this video a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed at this point please ensure that you subscribe